generous, Mr. Hope. Well earned, Bergen. Workers like to play hard here. Good to see you. Well, I've just received. He said, I trust. Did you now? Well. The disgrace wore him. Seems I put... I suppose... <laughs> What's going? Nothing that concern. I think I'd like... I can... Allow me to... The truth is, a few years ago, we... Div I was... Turns out... We donated the food. And when the time was... The reduction in... Look. The hardworking people. Cutting... I can't believe... How could you do something? Not another word and... Will... Just in... I give you... You're right. Yeah. Hmm. Well... With that resolved... As a member of... And of course... We... Well, let's not be too... I'll do what's next. If you... Do you really? Well, I'm afraid there's no... The past can... You put me away? I'll make... I won't... If that mean... I'm important! You're not... Act... You just... Threat... On my authority... Guards! Looting the dead ain't going to waste, but it sure is problem. Oh, it hurts. I don't understand, but everything is so awful. The first part is he always looked. I know what I just heard and saw, but he was a friend. No, he was more like a father. And now he's you, you killed him. Nobody should ever want that. Especially when it means killing someone who meant so much to so many people. <sighs> what happens to us now? That's... That would be... Elana. Elana Nwankwo. She seems pretty capable. Maybe... Maybe we'll be okay after all. I guess we'll have to figure things out. Find a path forward. There's a lot of smart, hard-working people here. You'll figure it out. Factory floor? It's impressive stuff. The next CEO of Hope Tech. As long as you keep the peace, you're good.
Spend most of my life trying to escape this place. Deputy. You're back. Good to see you back safe, Deputy. What's the word on the mech factory? Were the mercenaries hiding out there? Well, don't get too used to killing. For a ranger, that's always a last resort. Did you find out why the first was taking over farms? What? Ron Hope? That's one hell of an accusation, Deputy. Are you really that surprised? Hope's always had a reputation as a man who'd do anything to succeed. He's on the damn council, Emma. So he can make laws favorable to his business interests. Sure, he's known to look after his people, but do you really think he gives a damn about some farmers on Montara Luna? Did Hope explain his motives at all? That has a familiar ring to it. I recall hearing about some Hope Tech initiative to help farmers. At the time, I just figured it was a PR stunt. Seems a little more sinister now. Please, tell me you've got some evidence to back up these extraordinary claims. All right, let's see what you've got. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, this is pretty damning. Especially this last bit about destroying the slate. And you confronted Hope about this? Sounds like his pride got the best of him. Damn. This is going to send shockwaves throughout the Free Star Collective. If the people can't trust their leaders, Anarchy could follow. Have a little faith, Daniel. We're not the United Colonies. One bad apple won't spoil the whole damn barrel. Easy for you to say. You ain't the Marshal. Not yet, but you ain't gonna live forever, old man. While we've got you here, there's one last piece of business to take care of. Emma, would you please? With pleasure, Marshal. When you first joined us, I told you that you'd undergo an evaluation process. There's one thing left to do. A simple question. Do you feel ready to wear the badge of a full-fledged Freestar Ranger? Good. Duty and honor are the backbone of the Freestar Rangers. Marshal, I approve the deputy for advancement to the rank of Ranger. Thank you, Ranger Wilcox. In your time serving as a deputy, you've shown exceptional courage, fearless tenacity, and a high regard for the safety of our citizens. By the authority granted to me by the Council of Governors, I hereby promote you to the rank of Ranger. Here's your badge. Wear it with pride. But don't forget the solemn responsibility it represents. Congratulations. You truly deserve it. You've shown that faith was well-placed. Let's hear it for our new ranger. Well done. Right. Way to go. Cool. Thanks, job, ranger. Congratulations. The promotion's well earned. Excuse me. The mayor's all right. You won't find Always a better selection of brews and beverages anywhere in the Free Star Collective. 
Just let me drink in peace. Whatever you need, you've got it. Good. Well, hello, sunshine. Ron Hope was a real piece of work, wasn't he? Despicable is too kind a word. He held innocent people with little regard, treating their lives like numbers on a balance sheet. It's an absolute disgrace. Oh, really? Is that supposed to give him some kind of immunity from being a decent human being? Letting him off the hook would have been a terrible injustice. While that's true, it certainly doesn't excuse the blood that he has on his hands. No, it certainly isn't, especially when it comes at the expense of human lives. Well, I think I've lectured you enough. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me. Let me guess. <laughs> you missed me and you couldn't stay away. Fishing for a handout, eh? <laughs> Only if it's going to make me smile. Mm, how is it that you always know exactly what to say? Talk to you again soon, darling.
I barely ever, if you got time for a quick chat, I'd appreciate it when you're able. I don't got many friends, so I figure I gotta level with you. My past keeps showing up. I should get ahead of it before I get behind it. <sighs> Hell, this is tougher than I thought it was gonna be. <sighs> right, right. You know, when I turned 18, my dad used one of his many connections to get me my first real job. That, plus the magical co-family name, meant I was shipping freight out of Aquila. There is a way to take the wonder out of space. It was working for that outfit. Every milligram of helium three accounted for, timetables down to the second, too busy to ever really appreciate anything. Or even look up. And the pay? Well, it paid for my apartment, but that's about all I can say for it. So, an opportunity comes by from the boss man. He says, run this job, don't ask questions, and there's a bonus. Hell, I was still just a kid. I jumped on it. I knew I wasn't shipping some dried mangoes, but... Suddenly, God help me, it was fun. And you're a hell of a lot smarter than I was. So, uh, more jobs started coming. And everywhere I went, suddenly dangerous people were much better armed. I'd hear about armed conflicts and civilian casualties. Innocent casualties. And I'd pretend that wasn't me. Maybe I wasn't smuggling weapons, maybe I was carrying something else. As long as I never open the boxes, I can keep pretending. Not directly. And I'd tell myself they'd get guns from someone else. But in my heart, I knew blood was on my hands. Soon the boss man's relying on me, and the pay was nice. We also started partying a lot together. Hard. There are whole weeks that are blank. Never had a lick of trouble. Till I did. Yeah, but it takes two to tango. To this day, I don't know when I was running that last job, but it was tasty enough a whole mess of Crimson Fleet jumped me at the rendezvous. Now, a sane man would have been scared, but I looked at my pissant trading skiffs, dual cannons, and shouted, Oh, this is on! Yeah, I blew up one of the pirates before they realized that I was out of my gourd. I managed to get them down to two left before every system I had was fried. I was done. And that should have been the end. But that's when the rangers showed up. <laughs> you think? And then, dependable and straight as an arrow, Lillian Hart came on the calm, and well... It's like hearing the voice of an angel. The rangers took them out, no problem. Oh, that's fuzzy, though. See, I passed out. And when I came to, Lillian was there. Seems the Rangers were <laughs> impressed with me. Offered me a job. Yeah, by all rights, it should have been a prison cell, but... Lillian... She... Saw something in me. And I took the job. And that's it. All my cards are on the table. Officially... My cargo was destroyed by the fleet. Unofficially, hell yes she knew. She jettisoned it herself. I don't know why she did it, but she stuck her neck out for me. And after she helped me sober up and put the mess I was back together. That's, uh... Well, that. But the thing that scares me... ...is Cora. I mean, I gotta tell her someday. Sometimes the way she looks at me... ...I'm not worthy of that. But to see that look gone... <sighs> That's easy for you to say. Just so you know... All this, 
This is why Lillian is... something else. And I know you're right. I, I need to let her into Cora's life in a big way. I just need to get up the nerve to talk with her. Well, for now, let's do something more cheery. Like getting a root canal. All of our signature dishes are unique to the Roos. Oh, I suppose I can spare a minute to read over this. What is this? This... this is... What? Not in the slightest. We don't even sell half the foods he reviews in this article. Not to mention his palate is obviously unrefined. Grow some taste buds and a brain. Are you a mem? I had this graph jump one. Oh, how exciting! Yes, I'd love to take a look. This is. I don't quite know what to say. This is just. Not even close. This is just horribly offensive. This reads just like a hit piece on the Sanctum Universum. It's offensive, poorly researched, and just blatantly incorrect. Not to mention, it's badly written. How did this person become a reporter? Yeah, do some research, or don't bother writing anything at all. Hello there, dear friend. News. And free. I don't believe there's ever been a more exciting string of words ever uttered. <laughs> yes, of course. I'll gladly partake in it. This is, uh... This is... Well... A fair and unbiased source of trash, more like. The run-on sentences... The elementary sentence structure? It's a pain for me to read. I can feel my brain cells dying one by one. If this was paper, then at least I could use it as kindling for my fireplace. But unfortunately, this is a data slip, so it's literally worthless. Yes, please stop writing. That's convenient. Kila City could really use something like that. You know I 
went to chef school. There is a bit more. Hope you're finding everything you need. Oh, please, take a look. Appreciate the business. I'm dying to know. What did everyone say? Let me guess. They were all amazed. What? I can't believe it. That can't be right. Well, I guess you can't please everyone. I can't let this bring me down. You got this, Tommy. You got this. Anyways, thanks for all you did for me today. I really appreciate it. See you around. Just because we can't breathe, it doesn't mean other things can't. Looks like they're packing up their toys and going home. Well, you're back. No fun. Oh, no. Don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. It's not like we were eager to stick around. But we had injured people on recovery, and pickup coming at some point. Just not soon enough. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Suicide. <laughs> nah. The guy's seriously tougher than he looks. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. They could have grav-jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them... <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up.
box money. Wanna try fixing that computer? Don't see what good it will do since they're already gone, but fine. Here. You need any more? Feel free to scavenge around. Only managed to scrounge up one so far. I'm sure there's more around. I'm fine, Dusty. In this line of work, you make do. Even when the worst happens.
trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gotta tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. You underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller. One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital D, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. actually get that computer working again? What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Heller, on the other hand... Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Well, don't start buying me stuffed animals for my birthday or anything. But yes, all right. I don't like seeing my people hurt. Even Barrett and Hella. Just get after them, okay? And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If, uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. My contract's up with Argos, and I could use a change of scenery. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I need it. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. Good luck finding Barrett. Keep an eye out for Hello while you're at... Goodbye.
Baltimore's sixth grade class. Uh, oh, thank you. The school district is supposed to do maintenance on the ships. But our grav drive's cracked and leaking helium-3. The ship can't jump right now. Um, what's helium-3? Helium-3 is a stable isotope of helium that is used as fuel for grav drives, Tashi. What's a grav drive? You know what a grav drive is. Or you should. You wrote a paper on it. <laughs> I'm not sure Billy does know what a grav drive is. Class, please, talk quietly amongst yourselves. This is important. Do you have any extra ship parts? Let me see. Mrs. Whitmore, who are you talking to? Is it a pirate? Pirates? There are pirates? What? No. No pirates. Everyone is safe. Dad, have you ever tried Aurora? Uh, uh, well, I, not, not in a long time, sweetheart. Not since you were born. What was it like? Uh, terrible, terrible. It, been it was like terrible. A marine. A volunteer you pilot? Stuff, How Cora. daring! It's the See? worst. The authorities are here and they'll help us. Thank you. Now, everyone, settle down. The driver said ship parts should be sufficient for us to repair our ship. Understood. Well, I hope you have a better day than I'm having. Please disregard. I attempted an...
some pirate coming back to kill me. Lucky me, right? Considering the spaceship wreckage, you mean? Yeah. Well, he missed the worst of it. Pretty sure we ripped through all the emergency meds that were salvageable. Hey, uh, you know, when I ah, pulled you to the med bench back on Vectera, I honestly thought, shit, I think I just saved someone's life. Oddly proud moment, you know? So, uh, I guess I'm saying... Glad I paid it forward. I think saving their life may be the most important thing you've ever done. Seriously. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. Yeah, I'm starting to see that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these hurly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean, I didn't think it would work. But they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was, smiling like it was just another day on the job. You missed the fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Then he did the little finger gun thing. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized it was a Crimson Fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay, I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. I was drifting in and out, but yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. <laughs> Haven't really been in a good <clears throat> space to have a listen. <laughs> Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Yeah, just, uh, don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. Uh, give me a minute. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Whew. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. Oh, I'd kill for some chunks right now. First stop when I get home. But I really need to get better about packing snacks for these long hauls. Some rhubarb boom pop. Maybe some cereal. Irvin always made the best trail mix. Added in little marshmallows for stars. <laughs> I miss that. You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move. He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah, thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. Can't believe we got into this mess. Would you be quiet? Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gotta tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. You underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller. One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital D, doomed. Got it, okay. 
Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. see you. Captain Ellie, do you require my assistance? You may. I will do my best to provide satisfactory answers. Let me know if I can be of assistance in the future.